Hello there. How are you doing today? Well, I don't feel too well. I went to the hospital and the doctor recommended a syrup. <coughs> the doctor asked me to take 5 milliliters of this cold syrup. But I am not sure of what all this means or how to measure 5 milliliters. Would you like to help? Great. Here is a calibrated cup for the syrup. Calibrated is spelled C A L I B R A T E D. Calibrated. Calibrated objects are things that have measurements written on them. This calibrated cup has milliliters written on it, and its short form is called ML. The calibrations on the cup are 2.5 ML, 5 ML, 7.5 ML, and 10 ml but i only need to measure 5 ml of syrup this means that i have to pour out syrup from the bottle into the calibrated cup until the syrup reaches 5 ml now i can take my medicine i feel better already now we can start our class my name is mr chuku and you are welcome to today's class just like i did with my cough syrup we will learn how to measure other liquids Liquids are substances that are not gas or solids. An example of a liquid is water. Water does not have any shape, but it can take the shape of any container it feels. If you pour a bottle of water into a bowl, the shape of the water changes from being cylindrical, which is the shape of the bottle, to being circular, which is the shape of the bowl. But that's not all. Liquids have volume. The volume of a liquid is the amount of space that it occupies in a container. The syrup I drank earlier is a type of liquid, it was not a gas, and it certainly wasn't solid. Calibrated objects are used to measure volume. Remember that the calibrated cup that contained my cough syrup had a measurement that was up to 10 ml, but I measured out only 5 ml. The volume of cough syrup was 5 ml because it was the amount of space that the syrup occupied in the cup. Also, remember that the bottle of cough syrup is larger than the calibrated cup. This means that it can contain more liquid than the cup. This also means that the cup has a lesser volume than the bottle of cough syrup. If we measure 10 ml of the calibrated cup repeatedly, that is, if we measure the cup over and over again, we will know how many milliliters of syrup is in the bottle. Now, let's try out an example to see how all this works. For this exercise, you will need a tea cup and a calibrated cup of syrup. First, fill the cup of syrup with water and pour the water into the tea cup. You will do this until the tea cup is half filled with water. Make sure that the water in the calibrated cup reaches the 10 ml measurement. Can you tell how many milliliters of water you poured in your tea cup? How many milliliters of water will fill up the tea cup if it is now half filled? Write down your answer somewhere. We have used a calibrated cup to learn to measure liquid. In scientific laboratories all over the world, the volume of liquid is measured using containers known as volumetric glassware. These containers are made of glasses of different shapes and sizes and they are all calibrated. The most commonly used volumetric glassware is the measuring cylinder. Measuring cylinders are tall and narrow calibrated containers that help scientists measure liquids. Sometimes, when measuring liquids, a curve forms at the point of measurement. The bottom of this curve is called a meniscus. Meniscus is spelled M-E-N-I-S-C-U-S. Meniscus. When a liquid forms a meniscus in its container, the meniscus is taken as a measurement of the liquid. The curve at the bottom of my syrup is a meniscus. Even though the edges of the syrup are slightly above 5 ml, the volume of syrup in this calibrated cup is 5 ml because of the position of the meniscus. This is where we end our class today. I would love you to practice measurements of liquids as we have learned today. Try getting a measuring cylinder and measure 5 different volumes of your choice. Write down when you observe a meniscus. We will discuss your observations in the next lesson. Now. Let us revise the highlights of our lesson today. A. Calibrated objects are those things that have measurements written on them. B. Liquids are substances that are not gas or solids. C. The volume of a liquid is the amount of space that it occupies in a container. D. Calibrated objects are used to measure volume. 
E. The most commonly used volumetric glassware in laboratories is the measuring cylinder. F. The bottom curve that forms sometimes when liquids are measured is called meniscus. How well can you remember all that we've learnt? Well, let's test this, shall we? 1. If I pour water from my cup to a bowl, the water is no longer cylindrical but fills up a circular space. The amount of space that the water takes up is the same but in different shapes. What is this called? Great work! The amount of space that a liquid occupies is known as volume. 2. The meniscus forms sometimes when measuring cylinders are used to measure liquids, even though the sides of the liquid are higher. When this happens, which measurement is used? Excellent! When a meniscus is present, the raised side of the liquid are not used in the measurement, only the meniscus. I had a wonderful time with you. I cannot wait to see you in the next lesson. Until then, bye!